top of the morning friends and fellow traders this is doug campbell with right way options and this is the morning market preparation video for december 20th 2018 so is could it be could jerome powell actually be the grinch who stole christmas well it certainly is looking that way um that <laughs> He may be the guy who is going to be blamed for really uh, stealing any kind of a Christmas holiday uh, or a Christmas rally at all for the year. Obviously, yesterday he came out, um, they raised the interest rates for uh, December and to, uh, I think it's at, uh, Fed funds rate is now at uh, 2.5%. And um, obviously uh, did not sound overly dovish in the Fed forecast. And consequently, the market didn't like that very much. Um, sinking through this level of support, I, we were really kind of hoping we were holding right in here. And then quickly fell, reversing about 900 points overall on the day from where we started the morning off in the Dow. Um, started off nice, moved up, and then reversing basically a 900-point range in the in the Dow Jones Industrial Average yesterday. And here we are right here down at this lower level of support now. Now, as bad as that news is, the good news is, is we did bounce slightly here um, after that quick selling yesterday. And so a bounce off of there before the end of the day, um, we are in a oversold condition uh, in a short term period. And this morning we're seeing the futures picking us up with a modest um, increase this morning. Now, one of the things I would like to, to point out is that overnight the Dow futures were down um, over 200 points. And when the futures um, set a low like that overnight and the volatility is so extremely high like it is right now, don't rule out the possibility of a test of that overnight low. So we could gap up here this morning, and we've seen a lot of this here recently, where we'll gap up or gap down and then completely reverse. Don't rule out the possibility that we could move a couple hundred points lower sometime throughout the day just to test that overnight low. Let's hope that's not the case, but the possibility does exist, so watch that closely. As we begin, if we begin to rally, we want to watch these price levels in here uh, very carefully because these price levels are going to now serve as resistance. So any rally back up, we could see resistance uh, coming into play in these areas. And obviously the technical damage in this chart is significant. So um, with, with the volatility that we have, with the holiday just around the corner, with political uncertainty as it is, any even if we do rally, I wouldn't expect um, huge things out of it. Um, as a matter of fact, any rally back could really just set up an opportunity for sellers to come back in um, in kind of a risk-off um um, action ahead of the holidays a um, lot of risk obviously um, in this market right now and so there any rally back up could just be uh, where some of the sellers come in to dump more risk before we um, kind of take off time for the holidays so kind of consider that a lot a lot of um, issues ahead of us now one thing um, it looks like um, we may get a decision out of congress here over the next day or so um, to kick the can down the road again on the federal budget. Um, looks like they're kicking it down the road to February now, giving us a little bit more time, but honestly, all that does is extend the pain and keep that uncertainty um, swirling. 
out there for us. But we may avoid a, a government shutdown this weekend if they can get that job done. So um, <laughs> there's still a lot of hurdles that have to over be overcome. It has to pass, and then the president has to sign it. <laughs> and we all know that there's some contention um, um, with border wall in there. So we'll have to watch that very closely and remember any news report can flip us back and forth in and out of this really really fast let's take a look at the spy oops and the spy we sink right down here and clip this level of support so um where we were kind of hanging out here in the middle yesterday we made a decision First off, we rallied up here, got above that resistance. Everything was looking pretty good. And then Mr. Powell spoke and everything kind of fell apart really, really fast. And we zoomed down to this level of support. And once again, we did catch a little bit of bounce before the end of the day. And as you can see, SPY futures are pointing to just a slightly higher open this morning. Let's keep in mind this resistance right in here is a fairly strong, well, a fairly strong resistance. You can see we've got all of this price action right through here. So any rally back up into here, we would have to watch closely for that possibility of that next failure leg lower. So watch that. IW, um, excuse me, the Qs. The Qs quickly quickly reversed a beautiful day that was starting out here we were looking up in here uh mr powell spoke and everything fell apart and we dropped sharply right into this level of support so hopefully we're going to catch a little bit of bounce on that today and here again we did catch a little bounce before the close yesterday and we are opening just a little bit higher at least at the open again we can't rule out a test of the overnight lows but as we rally, we want to start watching these resistance levels in here um, if we do rally up um, and watch those for those potential places of failure. Hopefully we can start having some cooler heads prevail, but I think with the possibility that volumes could begin to decline as we head into the Christmas and, and New Year's holiday, um, I, I don't know. I, I would say any reactionary bounce could be tremendously muted um, as a result of that. Let's take a look at IWM. Um, IWM, a little bit of shell shock here in IWM. Um, that failure that we talked about right here, I said was kind of a, a really bad looking uh, thing to occur. That failure right there at resistance. Um, we swept through two levels of support. Um, just like they weren't even there. There was this longer term support. I'm going to go to the weekly here real quickly. We had this longer term support area. We sliced right through that yesterday like a knife through butter and um, dropped right down here to the lower side of that support level. Um, if that does not hold, you can see we could move very quickly down into this level. But this morning we we are catching a little bit of a bounce and you can see we're trying to hold up on this level of support. So hopefully we can get moving higher here just a little bit. But we have these levels of res resistance to worry about and we could easily smack into those pretty quickly and see more selling. Um, let's take a quick look at... Um, I wanted to show you this, the diamonds. We have been... Um, seeing uh, what they call the death cross the 50 crossing over the 200 don't don't read too much into that but they put all these fancy words on uh, on things or uh, dr dramatic words on things but now we've officially all four of our indexes as of yesterday crossed into that where the 50 day moving average crossing below the 200 that would suggest that we have reached kind of that that oversold point but i'm not sure we've reached that full-on capitulation point um, which means to say we could see more lower lows uh, before this is over but um, we do we are in that situation where we could see a bounce or some kind of a relief rally um, at any time. Let's take a quick look at the VIX. 
Um, it was really, really interesting that the VIX yesterday didn't spike heavily. Um, as a matter of fact, we had dropped significantly in the day um, as the market rallied. And then after the uh, Powell speech, we, we came all the way back up and just had a modest increase in fear yesterday but ultimately we ended up holding on to this resistance level i have marked here in in the chart so if we um don't see fear creeping a whole lot higher here um we could start beginning to see that fear pull back if we can catch that rally however when i talked about capitulation just a, a moment ago capitulation is that point where we just have that massive um ending um result so a lot of times we get that that massive move toward the end of a big bullish run and we get that massive move toward the end of a bearish run and you can see right here in february we had that big capitulation point we had that massive fear sell-off come into place really panic and sell off and we haven't seen that here yet so um, i don't want to tell everyone that i expect the markets to go lower still but now that that does have a possibility and we do want to pay attention to that potential so be really really careful of um, um, rallies um, as they approach resistance levels watch closely for points of failure uh, just in case they they do creep in there and we start um, bringing in more sellers let's take a look at um, t2122 now t2122 well let's see if i can get there t2122 whoop there we go. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see we've been down here in the basement. We are scraping along the floor of the ocean here. Um, clear down here in this very oversold or bullish reversal zone. So we would we would expect to see some kind of a relief rally back at any time. But with the volatility of the market, we want to remember that any kind of big spike up or big relief rally can easily find those sellers and, and bring us right back in. And I do have that concern as we approach the holidays that volumes will be starting to drop off. Folks will be starting to head out on vacations and traders after this ugly mess that we've seen in the market, maybe just packing it up and calling it a year. So I'll come back after the first year. So we could start seeing those volumes start to dec decline and any reaction in the market might be a little bit muted. So um, don't read a whole lot into this. We are in that condition where we should bounce. Whether that bounce will be anything of significance, um, boy we'll just have to watch and wait and and see how that goes volatility obviously is just extremely high and emotions are very high in the market so with that let's take a quick look at our economic calendar today we have a couple things that could move us around obviously today we have the jobless claims coming out this morning and the philly fed business outlook coming out um natural gas report is in there but i wouldn't expect much here we have a huge amount of bond announcements and auctions today and then we have the fed balance sheet and money supply at the end of the day um, these two um obviously have the biggest chance of moving the market around so we'll have to watch those kind of Closely. And then after that, it's going to be the price action that we're going to really have to focus on. On the earnings calendar, on that earnings calendar, we have about 32 companies reporting earnings today and some, you know, some important earnings coming out this morning. Some of the uh, noteworthy um that you want to pay attention to would be Nike and um, um, WBA. So kind of keep keep a, an eye on those this morning. Um, with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys are just awesome. Thank you so much for that and if you could 
Let me know what you think. Are you thinking that we bounce here or do you think there's more lows to come? Give me, let me know what you think. I'd, I'd love to hear it. And uh, leave that in the comments. Everyone, I want to wish you all a great day. Now, um, are there charts out there to look at? There are certainly charts to look at. Um, you know, one of the things I mentioned yesterday was uh, TLT. TLT uh, on, on that um, interest rate increase, TLT shot up here, breaking this long-term downtrend on and this is a weekly here breaking that long-term downtrend now i wouldn't suggest you'd want to chase this after such a big move maybe watch and wait for a potential entry you can see it's looking to gap up this morning um maybe wait and watch for a, a potential entry into that trade um for a position you know another place you could obviously look is tbt tbt is the short it's the opposing um etf on the 20-year treasury and you can see tbt is down here at a level of support if that were to fail there could be some shorting opportunities um here in tbt so um take a look at that um uh, stocks right now there's there's just a lot of um angst right now in stocks um not very many good signals however i did mention to members um this week the possibility you know if we start looking for some big support levels in the market um, we could potentially do some option trading around these support levels and you can see Boeing here was one that that announced that they were holding to their earnings um, guidance and that they were increasing their uh, buyback um, here just a couple of days ago and even though it took a really heavy sell-off yesterday you can see it's bouncing back just a little bit this morning and there is a possibility of creating yourself a credit spread trade below areas like that looking for that bounce or that that rally back up so even though we are tremendously oversold there are opportunities you just have to look really hard uh, for them um, but Boeing may be one to kind of take a look at if it can hold this major support um, here in price so with that everyone take care have an awesome awesome day I wish you great profits I wish you great success I know the market is frustrating I know that's very very challenging and I know there's a lot of folks that have been damaged heavily in this sell-off but what I want to recommend to you is to please just be careful and cautious and remember to never give up on yourself um, never give up on that dream um, trust me um, having been um, blessed enough to trade full-time for the last 14 years um, it is worth the effort. So keep up that hard work. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day.